Aleluia, só Deus. Glória. We greet you all present and the ones that are following online with the peace of the Lord Jesus. I invite the church to stand and let's open our Bibles. We're going to read in the book of Psalms, chapter 42. Psalms 42. We're going to read from verse 1. And two. If you don't have your Bible, you can follow the projection. Psalms 42. As the deer pants for the water brooks, so pants my soul for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? Amen. The church may be seated. May the Lord bless us through His words. Brethren, this song talks about the moment that He was living. He was a man that serves God and had experiences with the Lord. But here he's talking about a moment that he was going through, anguishing moments, sad moments. In, in that moment, he was being attacked in his emotional life, his mind. And even though he served the Lord, the first lesson we can acquire here is the one that serves the Lord because David was the servant of the Lord serving in the, the anguishing moments moments of trials and struggles and the psalmist he was bringing an experience that he brought from the Lord so the Holy Spirit of God wants to know from our lives if what we're about to do in the moment of struggles, when everything is okay, flat and flush, it's easy. But in the moments of trials and struggles, our positioning, how will be? The Lord showed, for example, tonight, a man that is here tonight, and his greatest trial is inside his own mind. What's going inside his mind, his feelings and thoughts. He's going through emotional problems. And the enemy is investing against his mind, trying to make him deviate from the Lord. But tonight the Lord is showing that the Lord is giving you the mind of Christ. The Lord is aligning your thoughts and reconciling you with the the mind with Christ, from Christ. A life directed by the Holy Spirit. And whatever the psalmist endured in the past is the same as we are enduring in our days. We were making some comments before the service in our meeting. The one that that serves the Lord needs to understand that our battle is not against the flesh and body, but it's against the spiritual situations. The enemy is investing to defeat our minds, our thoughts against the ways of the Lord. So we are here to glorify the name of the Lord because He is giving blessings to make our mind to be according to His will. The Holy Spirit is approaching us to a closer fellowship with Him. And here the psalmist was uh, mentioning the problem of his soul. The mankind through the science cannot understand the soul per se. It has its origin 
in eternity and the destiny is eternity back with God. But the man and the science and the studies cannot explain what goes inside the soul in the intimacy of a heart. And the psalmist here is showing a need of the soul because the flesh and the body will be fed through the, the regular food the vegetables, the breakfast, lunch, but our soul is hungry for spiritual things, things that comes from eternity, because our soul came from eternity. So when God created the man, the, the breath of life was exactly what God gave us as a soul. And we are here to understand that the fate of the soul is with God. The dust will go to the earth, but the spirit will go back to God. We know that our, our, our souls had a fate to be eternal. And the, the target and the, the project of God is that it comes back to Him. And it's being, it, it should be fed with the spiritual food. The psalmist mentioned here as the deer pants for the water brooks. So interesting that this animal mentioned here, animal that uh, inhabit the mountains and the hills, and many times he could be attacked by a predator and he did not have natural defenses or whoever can, can protect him. He didn't have any any cave or any housing or any place safe place to go so this the the deer it, it has a, a natural odor in his skin and this smell attracts the predators so the, the wind brings this essence that comes from his body and the predator knew where to go to invest against him. As the deer pants for the water brooks, the instinctively the deer knew that in exhaling this smell, this odor, it was to go to the waters because when he was deep in the waters, this essence, natural essence from his body will be disguised. He will be hidden and protected against the investment of his predators. This analogy or this comparison we see here exactly the position of the ones that serve the Lord. Many times mankind distance from God and our mind get distant from projects of the Lord and we would like to reclose ourselves, reclude ourselves in our own ways, in our own thoughts. And this is the moment that the enemy of our souls can rapture us and make us hosts of ourselves and eliminating our fellowship from the Lord, with the Lord. So... the sin and the, the attacks of the enemy. When the man distanced from, from God's presence is, is subject or vulnerable. But when we run to the waters and when we go to the presence of the Lord, we know that the blood of Jesus will deliver us from our sins. The blood of Jesus will hide us from the enemy's attacks. And Jesus, certain time, it was a period of feasts, and he stood last day of the feast, and he brought a word that nobody understood, but the faithful church, yes, it did. Whoever is thirsty, come to me and drink. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He was pointing to the Holy Spirit because he was, he was about to go to the cross. He will share his blood, and Jesus was saying, Whoever fed himself from the Holy Spirit, whoever go deep in the waters and surround, surrender to the direction of the Holy Spirit, 
it's safe. So the Lord shows also that there is a family tonight. And there was a dream. The Holy Spirit showed through a dream that this family can glorify the name of the Lord because they understood that if they surrender their lives in the hands of the Lord, everything will go well. If we deliver our faith to the hands of the Lord, in the hands of the Lord, we'll be okay, we'll be safe and sound. So what are we going to do? We're going to consult the Lord, everything. We would like to check first what is the God's will. And the servants of the last moment, is they are conquering because they are going deep, diving into the waters. The servant, the faithful servant that is going to the waters, to the presence of the Lord, they don't have any part of his body out of the presence of the Lord. The Bible says that the deer used to go deep in the waters. So the servant of this last moment needs to surrender, to deliver completely, wholly to the Lord. And this should be something particular, individually. God searches our minds, and He knows that we are here, but our mind is here. That is the question. Is our mind here? The Holy Spirit knows us deeply and profoundly. The psalmist says, My soul is anguished and afflicted, but I want to be like a deer. Because when you notice that you are vulnerable, you run to the waters. So the, the, the servants of this work of the Holy Spirit are running to the blessings, to the presence of the Holy Spirit. When Jesus was encountering the Samaritan woman, they were like exchanging words, asking, who's going to give the water? Jesus says, who, whoever drinks from the water that I'll give, if you experience, if you have a deep experience with salvation, I'll give you water that you're not going to need to, to feel thirst again. And she was thinking about things of this world and say, so I'm not going to be need to go to the the well but Jesus was talking about something spiritual and when you and I when we surrender our lives our souls to the Lord our soul will no, never go thirsty because Jesus is the unending well spreading water for the eternal life in Jesus in the Lord he strengthened our souls and our bodies the trials and struggles will come but our soul will be hidden in the action of the Holy Spirit. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. We know that we serve a God that speaks, that reveals himself, and is feeding us, our souls. And he brought us here, and he will take us to the end, to the eternity. There is a God that is strengthening our lives. And to close, the psalmist says, in a question way, when shall I come and appear before God? This phrase, this question that the psalmist made, it was a cry for his soul, from his soul. In reality, it was a prayer. Lord, when can I enter to enjoy my eternal life in heaven when does the tribes and struggles in this world will finish and i'll be with you forevermore this is also brethren the pre the pleading of the faithful church this is our hope this is our consolation jesus will come back to rapture the church the faithful church this is the shout of the church maranatha the church that wants and longs for the return of the Lord. We know that the trials and struggle will come, will follow us. But for us, there is hope. And the hope of the faithful church is in the second come of Jesus Christ. The world is organized for within the evil. We are following the geopolitics and we know that the world is organized for the evil way. For the end, must the, but the church is preparing for the return of Jesus Christ. And the church knows our soul has a rest forevermore in the presence of the Lord. 
And to finish, we would like to bring an experience to the church, the parable in the Bible that a man that was like acquiring richness and assets for this world and he was like putting everything in store and he says so you can rest and you can enjoy everything but the Lord says to him full whatever you have prepared to whom it will be so here the psalmist is saying that our soul as a faithful church is to prepare for the encounter with our Jesus. We need to work, we need to take care of our families, our social lives, but our main concern should be the moment that we're going to see our Lord in heaven. So let's sing a song and let God and the Holy Spirit speak to you tonight and bring blessings to your soul. O Senhor ainda concedia uma visão a respeito de um homem que está aqui no nosso meio. Isso mostrava que este homem ele tem para a sua vida muitos projetos, muitos planos. Isso mostrava na visão que todos os seus planos vão contrário ao que Deus tem para a sua vida. Vão e não conformidade àquilo que Deus tem para operar na sua vida. Ele tem buscado experiências com Deus, mas todas as suas experiências convergem para o... É convertido para os modos materialistas. E o Senhor está mostrando a este homem que ele precisa se posicionar sinceramente para as coisas espirituais, as coisas da eternidade of God's kingdom. And if he does that, 
the Lord will start blessing him immediately. Let's have another word of praise to the Lord. Lord, we praise your holy name for your word that came in favor of our need. We bless you as for we have you, O Lord, in our lives. You are the one that quench our thirsts. And in all the moments, you are by our side. And we would like to bless you and adore you for your love, for this unconditional love. We bless you. As for it's good to serve you, it's good to, it is good to know that you take care of us. Blessed be your name tonight for everything that you have done for your church. We bless you this way in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we would like to adore your name tonight because our soul has been abundantly quenched by your word. And our hope is hope for eternal life. We know that until the end, you will sustain your church and we will be in your presence. Blessed be your name for, for this moment. And we want to offer you our sacrifice of praise, our adoration. In the name of Jesus, amen. The church may be seated. Whoever needs a prayer or assistance, we are here at your disposal to pray and to assist you. Any announcements? Remembering the church about the Sunday school teaching tomorrow, 10.30. To you all, peace of the Lord.